Right, so what's on the review list today, this week, bud? Well, Sonic, we've got, um, sorry to interrupt you, but um, I believe you've got a voicemail from uh, 2 Fullerton Street, um, Gotham City, I believe. So, um, yeah. Oh, don't worry about that, James. There's probably someone asking about the Sonic movie coming out on the 14th of February. So, so um, do you want me to play it? Sure, why not? Okay, playing. Dear Mr. Hedgehog, I have captured your so-called protector, Bruce Wayne. Now I have complete control of Gotham City. I will commence an attack on Green Hill Zone if you do not comply with my demands. A Street Fighter 2 review. Let the games begin! Seriously, who is that guy? Is that, um, Aaron Black from Russell Combat? No, James is worse. It's Bane. Oh, you're talking about the Dark Knight Rises movie. Yep, yep, that's the one. Seriously, um, how much damage can, um, Bane do to Green Hill Zone if he, if he were to attack? A lot, well, a lot more than Jim Carrey do for, uh, for a start. So please let me review Street Fighter 2, James. All right, you know what, Sonic? You go ahead and do it. Hey everyone, Sonic the Hedgehog here. Just a quick reminder to you guys that these narrations are best enjoyed with headphones on. Hey everyone, this week I bring nostalgia to one of the local businesses by reviewing some beat-em-up throwback from the NES Genesis era. Can Guile create another Reign of Terror? Let's find out. The year is 1991. The gaming landscape was dominated by a red plumber and an awesome and handsome blue hedgehog. Come on, Sonic. I, come on, Sonic. No more narcissism. Oh, yeah, sorry. Entire gaming systems went handheld with the Sega Game Gear and Game Boy launched. Instead of first-person shooters like Counter-Strike, GoldenEye, and Wolfenstein 3D, fighting games like One Must Fall 2097 and Killer Instinct Ultra Combo dominating the competitive gaming scene. Well, less so these days, but still relevant. What with uh, what with Evil and the like. So leading the charge is this game. Released in 1991 for the S the SNES, well the NES, Genesis, and PC, this game single-handedly took the world by storm. We within weeks, arcades were flooded with people striving to be the best in the, the local arcade, even the best in your block. Major Bison took over most of the world for entertainment. He organized the World Warrior Tournament and invited the best fighters in the world to compete. The accessibility scores are as follows. Visibility, we gave 9.5. There are alternate colors that can be activated from in mirror matches, but you can't activate them in standard matches. Good, but not good enough for that 10. Audibility, we gave it 10. The post-match dialogue is text-based. It's almost fighting games of the era aren't as stories rich as modern ones due to memory constraints. Mobility, we gave it 10. And the 30th anniversary collection is par for the course. You can customize controls to suit your impairments, so you should be fine with this game. Gameplay, we gave it 9.5. The 30th anniversary collection has all the editions of this game. There are bog standard arcade mode and online features. It retains the retro feeling with various screen filters that gives that game a true nostalgic feeling. It makes the game look like a monitor you'd see on an old CRT monitor you'd see in an arcade cabinet. An old TV you'd use in the early 90s. For a Genesis slash SNES game, uh, well, an NES game from 1991, the roster is fairly large. From Ryu to Ken Masters, the requester's main guile to China's strongest woman, Chun-Li. 
and summaries. Street Fighter 2 is a solid two solids 2D fighting game. Its legacy in the industry can be understated. If you have a PS4 Switch and Xbox One and a reasonably decent PC, you could pick up the 30th anniversary collection fairly cheap. Probably the best way to play without risking an emulator. So the overall score is 97.5%. See you guys in the next reviews. Sonic the Hedgehog reading on the behalf of Spartan Commander 9090 out. Roll out Spartan Company. And and as for you Bane, please leave Green Hill Zone alone. Tails and I used to live here. Yeah.